Hey guys, how's it going? Brad Riley here. Welcome to another video. And in this one today, I'm gonna to be giving you three really important tips that you need to implement when scaling your social media marketing agency. And if you are new around here, just before we jump into it, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. And if you haven't joined the Entrepreneur Accelerator yet, I invite you to take a look at the top link in the description. Obviously, I'm gonna give you three really important tips today, but that is just the tip of the iceberg. Inside of the Entrepreneur Accelerator group, I give you so much personal help on a day-to-day -day basis on how you can scale your business at a deeper level. We've had so many people literally within their first few days, first couple of weeks, go on to land clients, and the best thing about it is only 30 bucks a month. So if you haven't joined yet, check that out in the top link in the description. But now, let's jump into these three tips. So, the first step I have for you when it comes to scaling your agency is you need to have systems before you scale. Because I see so many people that don't have the correct systems in place and if anything, they scale a bit too quickly because they take on all of these clients but they don't have the systems in place to have it automated and have it handled. Which means one thing, you're making yourself unnecessarily busy having to do all the work yourself because you don't have a team in place, you don't have certain softwares in place, certain systems. And it means you're spending all of your time actually doing the uh, service delivery for your clients or, or doing admin work, which is then taking away time from spending on actually scaling. So if you really, really wanna scale properly, you really wanna scale as fast and as efficiently as possible, you need to have systems in place. This could be a communication system, this could be a team, this could be a reporting system. You need to have things in your business that kind of work on autopilot or at least have a system to make them as, as efficient as possible because the last thing you want to happen is you know, you take on 10 clients in a month, fantastic, business is great, but then you're having to work 18 hours a day. You want an agency whereby you could have two clients or 20 clients and your input is pretty much the same. You know, you, you manage your company, you overview things, but you're not in the trenches every single day doing the work. So if you realize every single time you get a new client, it's adding an extra 10 hours of work a week to your business, you're soon gonna to get to the stage where you cannot scale. So really important, get your systems in place before you start to heavily scale, okay? So tip number two is retention over acquisition. Just wanna make this clear, this video is about scaling your agency and making the assumption you've already got a couple of clients. If you don't have any, any clients, you have no clients to retain, so obviously you need to acquire clients at that point. But if you have some clients right now, focus on the retention of those clients over the acquisition of new clients. Because the thing is with, with social media marketing is you have monthly recurring revenue. So if you have five clients all paying you $2,000 a month, you're gonna be making $10,000 a month monthly recurring revenue, which is fantastic. And that's one of the biggest benefits of social media marketing is it's pretty, it's pretty uh, safe income, right? You get paid this month, you get paid the next month and the month after, but there's one thing that you have to make sure you do, which is get decent results and, and focus on the retention because if you get 10 clients and you're, you know, you're making, I don't know, 10 grand a month, for example, and then the next month you lose three, but you gain four, well, that's great. You've, you've technically increased your revenue, but you're going through this vicious, vicious cycle of gain clients, lose clients, gain clients, lose clients. And you're actually gonna scale at a much slower rate than if you just focus on retention. Rather than take on 10 new clients every month, why don't you take on five new clients every month, but then focus heavily on the retention of your current clients. Focus on over delivering. Be proactive in your business rather than reactive, you know? Go do things ahead of time for your clients rather than them having to request it. Send reports without them having to request it. Make sure you're doing a fantastic job keeping them updated so they don't have to come to you. And again, you'll be in that, pro, you know, you're being proactive instead of reactive. So focus heavily on the retention because this is, I promise you, how you're gonna scale. If you keep your clients and then you continue to get more, like I'm not saying don't uh, you know, uh, acquire new clients, definitely do, but just focus more so on the retention. You know, I, I've, in the first year of my business, I've gained so many clients, I would just lose them all the next month or two months later. And yes, I would slowly start to increase my revenue, but over time, like it was nowhere near as what it could be if I focused a bit more on retention. So yeah, don't sleep on that. I know I speak about all the time, the importance of focusing on outreach and getting clients. That is true, but also just you know make sure you're focusing on that retention as well. And then the final tip for you today when it comes to scaling your agency is making sure you automate your outreach. When I automated my outreach, meaning I hired somebody to come in pretty much full time and just 
take over all outreach. They handle my Upwork outreach, people per hour, LinkedIn outreach, all of that stuff. They handle the, you know, they send the proposals, they send the messages, and then I just take the meetings. What this allowed me to do is wake up every single day and have people interested in working with my company. I would wake up every morning, I would have responses, messages, people who want sales calls and, and, and want to hop on a call to see if we're a good fit. And my business, it almost felt like it was growing without me personally having to do anything. Because I speak so much about having systems in your business, you know, having hiring for, for service delivery, making sure you've got a Facebook advertiser or a social media manager. That's really important. But once you have that in place, hire somebody to automate your outreach as well. Because you can find somebody pretty inexpensive, maybe from the Philippines, you know, three, four, five bucks an hour to come in and, and, and handle all of this for you. And if you actually have a good system for that, if you use, use methods that I teach, you know, like Upwork, you use some of these warmer methods, LinkedIn, then there's gonna be no way that it's not gonna provide a huge return on investment for you. Like if you've got somebody 40 hours a week on five bucks an hour, you know, 200 bucks a week, it doesn't even have to be that to begin with, you can do, you know, three bucks an hour, 10 hours a week, 30 bucks a week, it doesn't have to be expensive. But then you just like land one or two clients a month because of it. I mean, the return you're getting is literally ridiculous. 10X, 20X, 100X return on paying a VA to go in and actually do the outreach for you. So if you're really looking to scale your business to the next level, don't just automate the back end, the service delivery, the performance side of it. Also automate the front end. So then uh, what you really want is, in your, in your agency, you want to be the person that handles the sales call and the meetings and closes the deals, okay, and then innovates the agency. You don't even really, at scale, want to be doing the outreach yourself. You don't really want to be, you know, sending Upwork uh, proposals out. You don't really want to be on LinkedIn DMing people when you can actually be focused on mastering the sales call and closing deals and then focus on taking your business to the next level. So, yeah, really, really important at scale. Make sure you automate your outreach as well as your fulfillment team. So hopefully you guys found a bunch of value in this video today. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below because I do get back to every single comment that I get on my videos personally. So yeah, if you have any questions, you need any help, drop that down below. Just a reminder as well, if you're not in the Entrepreneur Accelerator yet, it's only 30 bucks per month. The value in there is literally ridiculous. I wanted to make it as cheap as I possibly could, you know, because the thing is when I first started out, I couldn't necessarily afford a $2,000 coaching program, a $1,000 course but I could have benefited heavily and I did benefit heavily eventually when I got myself a mentor. So I just wanted to make it as inexpensive as possible so that I can help as many of you who are just starting out. So check that out, top link in the description. would love to see you there. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.